I'm Jim, Jim Snell, in the USA. For 25 years, I was the United States importer distributor of spare parts for gas gas trials. So today I'm making this video, once and for all, to settle what fits what on the bodywork. Now, the reason I'm doing this now is people constantly contacting me and, you know, they don't know the year of their bike. So this is going to be about... We don't care what the year of your bike is because I'm going to show you why things don't fit other models. And I'm doing this today because this may be the last time anywhere on earth where all of this is in one place at the same time. I'm not bragging, this stuff is drying up. The first one, this purple and green thing, this tank, see how the seat is screwed to the tank and see how the rear fender is? And there are two little nipples on this seat that plug into two little rubber grommets on the fender. 90 Delta and 91 Delta GT looked like this. However, the 1990 fuel tank is handmade fiberglass. Those don't interchange. So few 1990 liquid cooled gas gas deltas were made. We're not going to worry about that. Very few of these were made. This next group this fender and this tank. This is 92, 93 only. When you turn the tank over, it's white nylon resin. Fender connects to the tank there. There's a little tang on the bottom of the fender that tucks under a little place on the chassis. That little tang is right there. 92, 93 is like that. 94, 95 is the next group. You have a tank cover over a black plastic fuel tank. There. Some of them had a small clock timing device in them. But those parts interchange. So 94, 95 is like that. Now keep in mind, graphics change and colors change according to the models. 96-97 is the longest rear mudguard fender. It doesn't fit any other years because of the way in the front it ties in to the tank cover. Like that. And the tank cover again sitting on a fuel tank that may be black plastic or maybe white translucent nylon. 96-97. 98, first year for the aluminum tank. 98 rear mudguard doesn't fit a 96 or 7 because it's made differently in the front and the other mounting points are different underneath. 98 fuel tanks are one year only because the fuel cap just has a little lever that flips up and down that holds it on. Starting in 99, it's the same fuel cap configuration they use to this day where you flip the lever up and turn it 90 degrees to get the cap off. This is a 2000 fuel tank. No, they don't interchange. They're different. 2000s had what we called the composite seat base and the fuel tank, the back of the fuel tank went like this. Okay, and the rear fender 2000, 2001, 02, edition 02, 02, or edition 03, not the Pro. The rear fender has these tangs that tuck in there and two little nipples that tuck into rubber grommets that went there. This is the first Pro starting in 02. When you look at the front of the fender, it looks like that and it tucks into the air box like that. This is just the top half of a complete air box to show you how they connect. Starting in the 2010 Adam Raga replica, the air box changed and so did the rear mudguard. The way it plugs into the air box is different. So 2010 Raga 2011 production is different. Okay, there you have it. This final one I showed you here is good through now, present day, as of 2020. 
So they went in two year increments. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, edition 02, edition 03. Pro began the longer run, 2002 through 2009, all models, all models in 2010, except the Adam Raga, which got the updated airbox. All models beginning in 2011 have this. There you have it. The 20th day of September 2020, this is Jim Snell in the USA with my shop cat, Mickey, helping me.